Today's episode is brought to you by me undies. The undies I put all over me. Not I don't just wear them. I like to like lay on them. They're so soft. Yeah, you tape them together. Yeah, I tape them all together and wear them as a bodysuit. They're amazing. Yes. Also, today we're brought to you by Tipsy Elves. For some reason, people decided the holiday time was about ugly Christmas sweaters. And you know what? Mm. You need to get one. You need to get an ugly Christmas sweater. If you don't got one, you're falling behind. And we're going to help you out. Got to do it. Hello, everybody. It's time for Ghosts and Friend Dogs. Friend Dog in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cox and Crendo in the morning. Hi. Yes. Hello. Hey there. Oh, hi. Where? Uh, what? Where were you? I was right here the whole time. Uh, false. You were not. I did not. It's you were true. like, uh, mm. all I did was turn my head up. Oh, so you shouted hey to the sky. Yeah, I shouted it to the sky. Wow. Uh, did anyone answer back? That sounds like a song. I shouted hey to the sky, but did anyone answer back? It's definitely Christian <laughs> rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> That's got it. Oh my God. I shouted hey to the sky. Shout to the Sky is a song. Yeah. Is the lyric, um, I shouted hey to the sky? Uh, no. But that means... <laughs> <laughs> all right. That means it's all ours now. Copyright. Copyright. Yeah, sh- I shouted hey to the sky. But it didn't shout back. It rained all over me. <laughs> but hey, that's okay, because I got my pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> and my wife, she didn't leave me, and I still have my old dog. Now we're going down to the old tavern. <laughs> that didn't really Doesn't have away. to rhyme because I'm feeling good <laughs> and life is okay. We're positive country songs. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So, how are you? What's going on with you? I mean, I'm doing all right. It's crazy weather over here. We got a blizzard, and then it rained here. So don't tell me about crazy. <laughs> well, we had a blizzard, and then the blizzard like went away, and then now it's like 50 degrees and raining outside, and then it's supposed to get cold, but then it's supposed to get warm again. So it's like I don't even know. It rained for like four days straight where I live here in LA. <laughs> That's there. There were there were parts of the city that weren't. Even getting rain, yet it was just raining on me for four days. And I I got so excited, I dropped a pen. I like had a pen <laughs> in my hand. And I was like, oh, rain. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We, uh, yeah. When's the last time it rained that much? Last year this time, pretty much. I think it's a, I think it's one of those things that if we didn't live so far south, it would be snow. Oh, yeah. And that would suck. Because I've lived in some, like, New England snows. Yeah. Northern, western New York snows and they suck. Well, as somebody who does deal with snow, when you live in a place that deals with snow, they like deal with it really well already. It's like everything's salted, everything's good to go. And then the the worst part is just if you have to actually drive in it while it's snowing. If you drive like the next day, like it's not that bad. Here it rained a little bit, and I've never seen so many car crashes. <laughs> And then when people do drive, they're driving like 15 miles per hour. It's like both of these are dangerous. (laughs) Driving too slow on the highway (laughs) and then driving too fast. Both dangerous in this weather situation. Please just use your brain. People are like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. I never. Get me home. (laughs) I never knew why people decide to drive slow. Like I get They're like, oh, I got to go so slow because, you know, I want to crash. But it's like when you do that. People are going normal speed, and then they got to slam their brakes on for you, and then they're going to rear end you. So really, you're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah. Especially when you're getting onto the highway. Yeah. When you're trying to get on the highway, and the person in the lane you're trying to merge into is going less than or the exact same speed as you, and you're just like, <laughs> okay, I'll slow down. And then you try to slow down, but then they slow down, and then rain's pouring down, and you're just like, please move. For the love of God, <laughs> I will drive you off the road. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad, especially L.A., because it's, like, 
those people, some people grow up there, right? And they just, that's all they know. And so when you get something that isn't like 70 degrees or like 100 degrees, and it just throws off their entire life. For the first time in six years of living here, I saw someone in a driving school car. <laughs> I didn't even know they had driving schools and I just thought people just took the test and if you passed you got to drive. <laughs> I had no clue there were driving schools. I had to go to a driving school in order to like do the tests and everything. Yeah. I always see driving school things around here. I have not ever seen one here in LA. Not once. Mm. I saw one the other day for the first I was like, wow, they finally got driving schools out here. That's crazy. <laughs> like I even had it in high school. My high school had driving school cars. That's what I'm saying. I had we had in Ohio we had to take a driving school thing. Yeah. We had to. And usually like partner up with somebody and then the main person like being like, All right, and they got their clipboard, like, hey, let's have you do a three point turn. Oh, do they have brakes on their side too? Yeah, they had the brakes on theirs. That that sucked because my I had a lady who was really scared for her life when I drove, <laughs> and I was very very good, but she'd always stop me, <laughs> and I'd just be driving. And she'd be like, "Put on your brakes." I'm like, "What? We're, what do you mean? She we're not, we're, no one's near us." And she's like, "Brake check, brake check." <laughs> I'm like what? <laughs> I feel like I don't know. I, I want to know what the driving. Like regulations or rules are everywhere. I wonder if it's like in somewhere like Idaho or something. It's like, hey, you teach your you teach your kids how to drive, and then you go. There's to the some license. places I think like uh, Nevada, where there's like F it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the rule is F it. <laughs> yeah, and then there's probably like some super strict ones too out there. Well, I want to know everybody in the comments or the whatever. Give us your driving regulations where you live or what you had to do to learn how to drive. Yeah, what you have to do, because I feel like I had to go through a lot. I even, because my parents were like, we want to save money on insurance, I had to sit through one of those like blood on the asphalt courses. And so I had to watch a bunch of videos that were essentially, yeah. don't do this, do this. Here's a video of a guy being like scraped off the pavement, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah. It was called like a safe driving course. I did save on my insurance though, but it was weird. It was me and a bunch of old people. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where they're like, look what happens to you if you do this thing. And it's like, I think people get it, but it's like, most of the time, it's the dumb people that do those things. It's like when they're like, hey, look what smoking can do to your body. It's like, it's not going to stop people smoking. Yeah, well, you know what? It It might not stop the people who are currently smoking, but apparently young people smoke much, much less. Like, cigarettes are... A failing industry for young people, but that's only in places like the United States and stuff. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's due I, to their marketing. I think it's due to people just being smarter and knowing, like, hey, this is. Well, that's good. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. No, it has, I think it has to do with all those don't smoke campaigns and things. Mm. Yeah. But also, with that said, uh, vaping has like <laughs> well, <yeah>. drastically <laughs> increased. That's the, the rise of vaping is insane. And it's I, at the point where they got the jewels too. You ever, you know, those jewels. They look I'm like, sorry, what? Are, what? You ever heard of a jewel? No, I don't know what that is. So I didn't know what that was either. Uh, is it a pen? Is it one of those vape pens? It looks like a USB, uh, like what? flash drive. What? Yeah, and it's like a, it's just like a cigarette type vape thing. And so I was listening. What? Even but on it the looks radio. like a flash drive. Yeah. Do you think we could go to oh. a convention and then sell flash drives as vape drives <laughs> and see if and like just see if kids? Dude, will I buy guarantee them? it. I got uh, like 50 old flash drives that are like 16 gigabytes behind me that I never use. On, we can just like vape drive. Look at that. That's a jewel. What the hell? Yeah, it's like a flash drive. Look at that. But it's just a vape pen then. Yeah, pretty much. I'm uh, not cool that it's called Jewel J U U L. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty dumb. I only I only learned about this cuz I was on Twitter and there was like trending Jewel and I was like what the shit is this and I clicked on it and there's like this one like he looked like the kid from Willy Wonka, and he had a jewel, and his like profile pic was that, and he was like, come at me, bro, and he was just using his jewel. And I was like, what the shit is this? And then I looked into it, and I was like, oh, a jewel's just like a vape pen thing. But apparently all the kids I... are doing it, because they're just like, hey, it's a flash drive, mom. And then it's not. It's tobacco nicotine. Well, not tobacco. It's like nicotine. That is, that's incredible. That's actually, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, kids... You're always one step ahead of adults. You always are. 
Mm -hmm. That's that's really clever to be like, it was just a flash drive. Now, here's what I would say as a nerd adult. I'd be like, bitch, that is the the biggest, what year is it, 1994? That is a big-ass <laughs> flash drive. Yeah. Let me see that. What you got on there, boy? <laughs> and they'd be... <laughs> They'd be like, no, you can't. i just plug it into my computer. I'd be like, oh, just I wonder if it's going it. to load. <laughs> it's frying my jewel. <laughs> <laughs> I could, God, why do I have to get in the nicotine, Billy? Why can't you look at porn like the normal kids? Now, here's the thing. If you somehow create a jewel that is a flash drive. Yeah. Then you're and and then you can smoke out the other end of it. Or if you're smart, you stick the part that you stick in your computer in your mouth <laughs> and then get it all wet, smoke on it. Then you stick in the computer. Nothing can go wrong. It'd be great. That is a brilliant idea. It'd be great. Yeah, brilliant. Why are we on the forefront? <laughs> we should be on the forefront. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things where like they got the vape, they got the fruit pods too. So when you vape it, it smells like you know like fruit, like grapes and peaches and shit. Yeah. I, I, I'd rather, if I'm going to smoke something, I'd rather walk away smelling like wood, like musky wood. <laughs> What's I don't want to smoke a thing and then walk away smelling like car scent. Dude. Like I went and got my car washed. Here's the thing. You can buy, you can probably buy like tobacco scent. And there you go. Oh, I don't want tobacco scent. I don't want people to know that I'm, I, I vape because that's lame. What I do want <laughs> is for people to be like, oh, he smells like he just worked with sandalwood. And made and made a a nice display rack for his samurai swords. That sounds extremely nerdy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, they got like oh, it's like mint. Was this cream cucumber? What the shit? I don't even know. I don't listen. I don't vape. I, I'd smoke a cucumber if My, I could, <laughs> if I could like grind up a cucumber. I'd smoke it. My friend Steve vapes, and whenever we'd like drive him home after we'd get food with him. He would vape, and it just smelled like Starburst. It was actually kind of nice. I was like, hey, it's not too bad. But that's like their marketing Everyone. thing towards it. They, the, like, the, the jewel companies, I heard it on the radio. They'll be like, hey, so uh, don't you hate that smell of cigarettes? Uh, get a jewel. It, like they're selling it like the healthier option, when really it's just the same thing, but in a little USB drive, and it smells different. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the patience to form another addictive habit. <laughs> I'm already addicted to so many other things. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sorry, cigarettes. I don't have time for you. I can't do that. That's too much work. You mean I got to go out and buy them? Hard pass. <laughs> yeah, not a fan. Uh, I can't even be an alcoholic because I don't want to have to go to the grocery store to get enough alcohol. Oh, the only thing I'm addicted to is eating too much. <laughs> <laughs> that's a huge problem for me. That's a problem. I take it you're off the Kren diet. Um, no, I, uh, am on the, my parents had a bunch of blue aprons that they had ordered, but they can't eat. So they gave them to me. And so I'm making <laughs> yesterday I had fish. It was very nice. Damn. That's fish a and rice and like a name. kale thing with a, with a creme fraiche. That was great. We're not even sponsored by on this podcast. We're still promoting. I actually still get yeah. Blue Apron. And I pay for it myself. You know what? It's not bad. It's, it's not pretty bad. good. Like, there's a yeah. lot of good ones. They made like quesadilla stuff. They got, I got, I got like good steaks. I'm mean, getting like the steak, and they gave you like some potatoes. And they got like kale salad or like whatever salad. Uh, not That's romaine. What I'm saying. I made like a like, kale like, and uh, rice on the recall. Creme fresh thing. Yeah. Creme fresh. Yeah. Crenfre Crenfre <laughs> <laughs> This is Crenfresh. Yeah, it's not it's not bad. I definitely think it's one of those if you can afford it kind of deals cuz I feel like yeah. you can go out and probably get eight of one of the meals <laughs> for the same price. Yeah. It's one of those things where like if we didn't get sponsored by them and them giving us like a try it type of thing, I probably wouldn't have did it. But now it's like so convenient where I'm like there's a lot of times I'll go to the grocery store and then I just buy stuff and then I just don't use it and have to throw it away. And I'm like, the times I do that, I just put it towards this food and then I actually eat it because they tell me what to do yeah. with it. So that's that. the biggest thing for me is that is having extra food where I spend so much time at work that unless I bring it with me, 90% of the food I buy ends up waste, which sucks because that's like a huge problem that especially Americans, we have like... A big issue. When you go out to dinner and they give you just a bunch of food and you're like, I'm good. I don't want any more. Yeah. And it's like half of your plate is left. Yeah. I, I'm like, you could give me a better quality meal, half of that, and I'd be much happier 
than having like 80 pounds of pasta. Yeah. That's like, it's a very uh, older generation thing where they're like, I want a lot of food for my money. It's definitely one of those things where it's like, even if I get a lot, it's like a like the pasta thing where I know I'm going to eat more of it later. Like, I'll take it home and eat it later. But even then, it has to be good enough for me to want to do that. Like, the only thing I can remind, like think of off the top of my head is the Cheesecake Factory, and I'd get the Chipotle chicken pasta. It was good pasta. I don't know how I to hate, make that I hate at home. the Cheesecake Factory. Well, here's I hate the thing. The cheese- There's a it. vast majority of items at the Cheesecake Factory that I hate and I would never eat. And I only get that pasta thing because I know it's good. It's that thing where, like, people are like, there's just all so many things. And it's like, I'm only going to order this one thing. If you're like, why, why order something else? Unless it's like, you know everything else is good. Like, if you're at some fancy place or something, you're like, wow, I'll try. I want to try everything. Like, if it's something like this, I'm not going to be like, give me the chicken Alfredo, sir. Like, no. Right. It's... And then if you're at Olive Garden, just just leave. Yeah, get up and leave. There's literally, <laughs> out of all the Italian places, Olive Garden is like the bottom tier. Here, You know what? Except for that soup and salad. Soup, salad, breadstick. I don't know what they, what crack they put in that, <laughs> but it is somehow delicious. Somehow, if you're there for anything but the pasta, it's good. Mm, yeah, it's, uh, well... I don't know it's about the same that. thing like it's, uh it's the same thing like um red lobster. Yeah. The, those biscuits are godly. They're like next level biscuits. But I don't know that I'd like be like, yeah, this is where I'm gonna go get my all you can eat shrimp buffet. Like <laughs> those biscuits though, they're solid biscuits. Yeah. There's some things that every one of those places has that it's like, all right, you know, I can I can see why people uh would come here, like the biscuits, and then everything else is just like bleh. What's the like outback? They got the blooming onion. That, That's yeah, it. you don't need to go there for anything else. Blooming, you know what? Oh my god, we need to make a perfect, a perfect night menu. Okay, <laughs> okay, mm. okay, okay. On this list, on this list, I have all the chains and ranks. Okay, okay. number one, McDonald's. Would we, you know what? We can get from McDonald's, hmm. McDonald's French fries. You can never yeah, go wrong go. with McDonald's fries. That's solid. Yeah. Starbucks, small coffee, yeah. black. Yes. Subway, um. Let's do a uh, Subway 6-inch turkey bacon. Hey, can't go wrong with turkey. Can't go wrong with turkey, and bacon's always good. Yeah. Taco Bell. Um, oh. uh, what is the t- I like ta- the uh, cheesy gordita crunch. You know what? That's a solid choice. One yeah. cheesy gordita crunch. See? There's a good mm-hmm. thing from everywhere. Mm-hmm. Burger King. Actually, there's nothing good at Burger King. <laughs> moving <No>. on. <laughs> Wendy's. Spicy chicken sandwich. Yes. That shit is amazing. Or the spicy chicken nuggets, but they got rid of them. Yeah. So now you just have to order a sandwich and get rid of the bread. Yeah. Um, Chick Fil A chicken sandwich. Come on, that's yeah, easy. No doubt. That's easy. Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, the coffee. Just give me a black coffee. It's two coffees. Now we're up to two coffee. Yeah. Domino's. You know what? Sometimes it depends on how drunk we are. A Domino's pizza can be Dude, good. It Domino's can be good. Is actually pretty. They've gotten better. I would yeah, take Domino's. It's actually better than like, Pizza Hut. Yeah, it's better I than Pizza Hut. I think it's better Hut. than Pizza Hut now. It's better than Papa John's, that's for sure. Papa John's is trash tier. <laughs> Papa John's used to be good and you get your little like pepper with yeah. it. Now it's now it's awful. Yeah, it's terrible awful. pizza. Every time we've wanted a chain pizza, just go Domino's. It's always it's been good. I've enjoyed Domino's. And they got Parmesan bread bites. Oh my god. <laughs> Panera bread? Easy. Easy choice. All right. Get the pick two. Get yourself a soup yes. and sandwich. Call it a life. So good. Pick two. The pick two. KFC. Come on. Uh, KFC has delicious mashed potatoes and gravy. Yes, it's they not do. even real. It's not even real, but it doesn't matter. They're delicious. Even the coleslaw is good. Yeah. Oh my god, that's the thing. Yeah. Screw the screw everything else. The coleslaw is where it's at. <laughs> it's so good. They probably yeah. put sugar and but shit, but I don't even care. It's so good. Chipotle Mexican Grill. Um. Chips and guac. Uh, Applebee's. Oh my God. Ugh. Um. <laughs> ooh. I don't. Uh, what if we skip that one? Okay, <laughs> yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings. Right, oh, E-dubs. wings. Come on, that's easy. Mango habanero wings. Mango habanero yes. wings are the way to go. Agreed. Mm. Dairy Queen. Get yourself a Blizzard. Simple. Yeah, that's that's blizzard. easy. Outback, obviously. Bloomin' yeah, Onion. Obviously. That's the way to go. Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. 1,000%, not the food, those little tiny toys that they have <laughs> yes. on the tables. Those are the shit. <laughs> those are the, those are the shit. 
<laughs> That's so you play while you're waiting for your other food. Yeah, you're sitting there waiting for your biscuits and gravy or whatever, and you're just sitting there playing with the little toys. That's yeah. where it's at. They got Their the, food uh, is like whatever. They got the one with like all the little pegs in the yes, like, wooden block. Yes, absolutely. You got to jump them. Yeah, and oh, I would spend 20 minutes doing that. <laughs> yeah. Red Lobster, obvious choice. You got to get the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Yep, gotta That's, do I mean, it. delicious. Cheesecake Factory, whatever the hell that awful shit Crendor gets. Chipotle chicken pasta. Cheesecake I'm telling you, terrible. if you have to terrible. go to Cheesecake Factory, get Chipotle chicken pasta. You will not be disappointed. They can't mess it up. Red Robin, uh, I think Red Robin, they probably another, like the the Red Robin burger, the one that has the egg on it, is pretty legit. Dude, yes. What's that? Hold on. Red Robin gourmet burger. They got like a gourmet burger thing. What is it? There's one that I got not that long ago. It is the... Food drink gourmet burger. It's the uh, hold on, got Royal Red Robin burger. No, where is it? It's the the pin. Royal Red Robin's the one I'm talking about. That's the one you're talking about. But I'm talking about. God damn, where did they get rid of it? They better not got. Rid of it. It's gotta damn. be. Oh wait, damn. it's like the it's like the peppercorn burger. All right. Sure. All right. I get that. Peppercorn burger. Yeah, that's a good one. And if you can't get that one, you get the Royal Red Robin. Uh, Five Guys Burgers and Fries. The fries, obviously. Uh, yeah. Um, The burgers are like, meh, but the fries are amazing. Uh, Waffle House? You go there for the entertainment. You bring <laughs> yeah, you bring the crazy people there home. <laughs> yeah. You're not there for the food. <laughs> you're there for the naked dude at 4 a.m. Yeah, that's no what you're doubt. there for. No doubt. Uh, TJ Fridays? That's just uh, like maybe one of those Kahlua mixed drinks. <laughs> everything else there is pretty shit. TGI Fridays is like all I think of is microwavable, like frozen stuff you buy at the grocery yeah. store. Yeah, that's all uh, they serve there ste- anyway. Steak and Shake. Those steak burgers oh. are the steak so burgers. Good. Also, you steak get burgers. A, shake. a steak burger and, and a shake. shake. Yeah, it's in the name. Yeah. Wing Stop. Obviously, Mango Habanero. Yeah, only <laughs> every wing place, <laughs> Mango Habanero. Yep. Uh, Raisin Cane's, those chicken fingers are so good. I never had Raisin Cane's. Oh my god, they're right near BlizzCon. Next time oh. you're down here, we'll go. Alright. It literally, they just serve chicken fingers. That's all they serve there. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's like it. Uh, BJ's Restaurant and Brew House, I imagine the BJ's are why people are going. But, uh... Gotta get the BJ. But like, yeah, those that would be a night where we die afterwards, but that would be like, if we could travel to every single place, that's what we'd get. Yeah. I think that's pretty solid. Yeah, I don't know why we did that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't either. I have no clue why we did that, but it was fun to do. Yeah, I feel like I feel like people appreciate it, you know. Yeah, because even at shitty restaurants, you can find something good, unless it's Applebee's or TGI Fridays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> you're not gonna get it. Oh man. Wait, what about Arby's? Arby's? Uh, Arby's? People shit talk it, but sometimes. Yeah. You're in the mood for an Arby's sandwich. Sometimes you're like, you know what? I need that Arby's like horsey sauce and shit. I want that. Dude. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. I remember. I used to get Arby's popcorn chicken and curly fries. It was a good Their combo. curly fries are pretty legit. Yeah. yeah. They're pretty good. It's, I will say, people talk crap on Arby's all the time. Yeah. Mostly because the Simpsons did it. Yeah. But what I will say <laughs> Is that sometimes in your life you're ready for an RB? Sometimes when you're at your lowest point in life, when you think I've got nothing else to live for, you want that RB sandwich. Yeah. And it's good. It's real good at the time. You just want that roast beef and curly fries. That's all you want. Yeah. And then you just put a little of the Arby's or horse, whatever, you know, all the different sauces the on horse. it. Man, come on. You put a little horse on there. <laughs> That's the extra Arby's, flavor. put a little horse on it. Yeah. 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 That's uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm glad we did that. And then obviously, you go to McDonald's. You order all the things we created. Yes, obviously, that's the only reason to go to McDonald's. By the way, was it Target the other day? Oh boy, yeah. Uh, we were just looking at stuff, and this lady didn't even know if she worked there or not. But then we realized she did work there. Just started being like talking to herself, I guess. But then she started talking like to us. And she was just like, you know, everyone says this is a dream job, but it's not. (laughs) And I was like, uh, yeah. And she's like, that's what my mom said, you know. She'd say, oh, you want to get that job at Target, huh? It's a dream job, magical place. 
And I was like, yeah, I think it's Disneyland or something. And she's like, yeah, ha <laughs> uh, you know, I got this uh, red lipstick over here. I put it on, you know, a lot because my boyfriend hates it. So I just do it to mock him. Yeah, I was like, all right, we're going to, that's cool, have fun. She's like, yep, yeah. <laughs> man, I just, I got so much to do. This cart's almost empty. I got to restock the shelves. The other cart's uh, still kind of full, though. <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's, the cart looks done, like slowly walking away. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I get the yeah. personality with the job. And I was like, yep, yeah, all right. <laughs> it's like, and I walked away. And I was like, wow. As you leave, she just is back behind you like, so I have some other things I want to talk about. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. It's just uh, kind of lonely over here. It was just, uh, I don't I don't know if she just had nobody to talk to or she's like end of the day and she's going crazy or like she's just crazy in general. It was, it's just one of those weird, weird employees. It made me not want to go back to Target. I had my own, I had two run-ins. Uh, one was at a Best Buy. Where the guy, I was looking at TVs because my, my, I want to get my parents a new TV for Christmas because their TV has weird lines in it and stuff. <laughs> and it's just, I've been freaking out about it for a while. I'm trying to find out like a TV that they would want to watch, right? Right. Because they don't, they clearly aren't going to be looking for the same stuff I'm looking for in a TV. Yeah. So I'm going around looking at the TVs, looking at sizes, trying to figure out the distance. Cause you know, if you're, if, if you're into TVs, you know that. Bigger TVs, especially nowadays when they're like, mega, triple, 20,000K, the closer you are to it, the worse it's going to look. Yeah. So you want to find one that fits the room that you have. <laughs> and so I'm looking at different TVs, looking at different models, trying to look at the different color things, and this guy comes over to me and is like, hey, uh, looking at TVs? And I was like, yeah, yeah, Um, not really sure what to buy, though. I, I like this LG one. I think it has really like crisp colors. But this Samsung, my parents are like kind of used to the way those work. And I'm just going through, and the guy's like, well, um, if you look over here at this one, it starts showing me around. Just showing me around. <laughs> and I'm kind of half paying attention. Yeah. I look down. He doesn't work there. Oh. He does not. He has no Best Buy <laughs> outfit on. He's just a dude. <laughs> and I wasn't even paying attention. The guy was just like, yes, yeah, these are some good TVs. And I was like, thank you. And he's like, yep. And he walked back over. And then hung out with his family again. <laughs> his kids were just like playing with MacBooks. And he was just talking to me about TVs. And I thought he was an employee. And the dude just, yeah, okay, well, nice talking to you. And just walked away. <laughs> I want to point out for the record, the, the cream on top of this story. I don't know what that means. The cream on the story. <laughs> Is that I was wearing that uh, Jimi Hendrix shirt that I always wear, where old men come up to me <laughs> oh, yeah. and just act like I'm their friend. <laughs> I think this shirt has magical properties because when I put it on, guys in their 60s come up to me just like, hey, uh, how's it going? I'm like, what the hell is happening? Hendrix vein, huh? Yeah. And the guy sat there for like five or six minutes showing me TVs. And then I finally. Like, actually acknowledged what he was wearing, and he was just a dude in a t-shirt. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, he doesn't work here. <laughs> and then he went back over to his kids, and they were looking at MacBooks. I think he was just bored and came to help me. Which says a lot about Best Buy service, because where were their employees? <laughs> I remember that one time at Best Buy where we had that one guy helping us out, and then he just vanished. I do remember that. When we were trying to look for a cord, yeah. that guy straight up... Left for like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. We're like, wait. So he told us to wait here, but for how long? Yeah. Where did he go? And he was gone. And then he was gone. I don't think he ever came uh, back. I think we just left. Yeah, I don't remember what happened. I, it was whatever the case may be. <laughs> real fun. Real fun yeah. is what that was. <laughs> um, but yeah, Best Buy, your service still sucks. I wasn't going to buy it there anyway. I was going to go online and order it from Amazon. But I yeah. just wanted to see what they look like. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was just browsing. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. Oh, and then I was uh, getting the elevator from my apartment to go down. Uh, it was late. I had to go pick something up from the office that I forgot because I'm a dummy. So it was like, I don't know, pretty late one night. And a woman joined me on the elevator. And she was dressed up. She looked great. She had on 
I'll be honest, I don't know exactly what she had on because it was definitely showing a lot of skin, but she was hiding it under like a black trench coat. <laughs> right. And the entire elevator trip on the way down, she was just like, you can do this. You can do this. And I was I was like, you can do what? What can, what can this woman do? What I, I was mesmerized because she was psyching herself up for something. I have no clue what because it was 930 <laughs> and she was going out for the night. And I'm like, is she getting psyched up for a date? Or is this like some, some sort ritual. of booty call thing? Well, yeah, what's <laughs> happening right now? Because she was like, you can do this. You can. She walked out of the elevator. I'm not sure she had any pants on. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> she straight up was legs and shoes and then this trench coat. I, I still have no confirmation that there was any clothes on under that. Wow, we. And now I'm just like, what was her life like that night? What happened? I would love to have known. She's on a meeting to go meet the green cheetah. <laughs> Maybe. And the green <laughs> cheetah was like, and she was like, no, Green Cheetah, I couldn't seduce Jesse. She's like, I know, I know, you need to get to his car again. You have gum for him. <laughs> yes, all right, next time, I promise. I'll never fail you again, Green Cheetah. <laughs> and then the Green Cheetah kills her because you don't fail the Green Cheetah no, ever. please spare my life. No! <laughs> the Green Cheetah will end you. You don't, Green Cheetah does not tolerate failure. Yeah. That's a fact. Not That's a fact. Option. Yeah. If you fail, she can never trust you again, and thus you're expendable. <laughs> I feel like that's just, you know, you think about the green cheetah and all we've been through, and it's it's still an ongoing story, and I don't know if it'll it will ever never end. It'll never cease. The green cheetah is still around. Yeah. I see her at the apartment complex every once in a while, and she is... Just as crazy looking as she always was. <laughs> she's still, but she isn't still in my. Lying you over. She isn't in my complex. She's in. She's like two buildings down. Mm. So I only ever see her outside, and she's always waiting for someone, but no one ever shows up. She's waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, wow. Do you think I should get her a jewel and bring it as like a like a peace gift, a peace offering? You probably should. She'd probably love it, and that might it's make a green her cheetah. I bought you this. <laughs> Smokable USB stick. <laughs> and she's, oh, like a ball of ball. She just takes it and tries to smoke it, then like dissipates with the jewel into thin air. Yeah, she was never real. It was always the darkness inside me. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. The green cheetah what? is just a figment of your imagination that's overtaken our reality. But didn't you see her once? Yes, but I also have insight into your imagination. Are you saying that I manifest my dreams to your reality? Yes, but then it also... <laughs> wow, what a leap. All right, sure. It also goes into other people's realities, but not as strongly. Oh, right, right, right. Like, so I'm like, the, I'm like a wish master kind yeah. of situation. Like the elevator okay, sure. woman obviously could see the green cheetah, but that was like, they don't see each other very long. It's only like... Maybe the elevator meetings. woman wasn't even real. Oh, shit. I could have just imagined her. It's That's possible. No. Oh, my God. It's all adding up now feel bad because she seemed like she was having a rough day. <laughs> I feel bad for having imagined a person in that situation. Could that be because you're having a rough day? Oh, my God. You're in my head. Get out. Get oh. out of there. I bet you weren't even wearing pants. <laughs> oh, get out of my head. Get out of my head. It all comes for full, 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 full circle. Full, 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 full. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, that's all I got. Well, speaking of not wearing pants, yeah. let me tell you about me undies. Whoa. It's almost the holiday season. We're so very close. And this year, you can finally tackle that shopping and gift buying early. And guess what? You can do everything you need to do right on me undies. Not joking. You might be saying uh, underwear, socks, wonderful fabric sweats. Why, that's no gift. You're wrong. It's the best gift you can give. Frankly, People will thank you for it. All those other gifts, garbage compared to me undies. Because they use a coveted micromodal fabric that is three times softer than cotton. We keep telling you this all the time. And you listen to us. It's crazy, but you do. And you love it too. It is pure bliss in underwear form. Whether you're a Crendor or a Jesse, you can get the style that is right for you. 
four different cuts. You can get uh, some uh, boxers or boxer briefs or briefs or whatever. There are classic colors and some more fun colors and then crazy adventurous prints like the ones I, I like. I'm wearing gray right now. Right now, you can get some prints of a holiday variety. Beyondies has a new print releasing every Tuesday up until Christmas. Why stop with just MeUndies, though? This year, they have holiday prints in lounge pants and onesies. It, it, everything's made from the same mega micromodal fabric. It feels amazing. How can you not get your loved ones some MeUndies? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. The other day, I was on a stream, and some dude was like, yo, should I get MeUndies? And I was like, bro. They don't even pay me to tell you this right now. Do it. It'll change your reality. And I'm, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to give it a week. I'm going to see a tweet from this guy that's like, Jesse, you were right. <laughs> My butt has never felt so good. It's a fact. Dude, I can't even stress this enough. You never have to buy underwear again because you just get them through MeUndies. You will only go to MeUndies. Once you get these, you'll be like, oh, my God. And this dude was like, dude, I'm a big man like you. How, how do they fit? They fit great. MeUndies are incredible. You know, and here's the best part. If you order from MeUndies right now, if you're a first-time purchaser, when you go to MeUndies, you get 15% off and free shipping. And here's the best part. It's 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So if you're like, I don't like these, which you won't, because let's be real, you're about to love them. Even if you don't, you can send them back, get all your money back, and you don't have to worry. And you can be like, well, Jesse lied to us, but I didn't, because there's no lie here. This is going to make your life, not day, life better. Damn. So you're going to want to head over to MeUndies.com slash Crendor. That's, me. That's MeUndies.com slash Crendor. Me. M-E-U-N-D-I-E-S dot com slash Crendor. That's me again. Speaking of putting things on your body, Christmas time is coming down the pipeline. And one of the wacky traditions that we've come up with as a society, especially if you're like a cool dude like me, it's ugly Christmas sweaters. People love to, people try to get the ugliest one they can find. And let me tell you, there are some ugly ones. And most of them can be found on Tipsy Elves. Tipsy Elves has hilariously reimagined irreverent designs. Essentially, you're going to be the talk of every party you go to. They've got incredibly high quality and crazy comfortable sweaters. These things are, it ranges from everything from being very, very tacky to outrageous. Just things that would probably make your grandmother be like, oh my. Ooh, I got a sweater with a cat on it. I got a, because uh, I live in LA, I got a Hawaiian shirt with Santas. Ooh. I know. So you don't even have to get sweaters. They have all sorts of different things you can get. They have... Christmas suits, if you're a very classy kind of guy. They have um, interactive sweaters. We can play, like, beer pong on them. They have themed sweaters. They have dresses. They have leggings as well and uh, tees that uh, if you are like me and you live someplace where it's hot. They have all sorts of things. And it isn't just Christmas, too. They have all sorts of different holidays you can go and buy specific shirts for. Everyone's got to have that green shirt for St. Patty's Day, let's be real. So... Go check out Tipsy Elves. You won't find more hilariously awesome designs and shirts and just ridiculous things anywhere else. So before it's too late to get that outfit that you have all planned for the Christmas party or office holiday party or whatever the case may be, right now you can get 20% off at tipsyelves.com when you use the code COX, COX at checkout. That's 20% off anything on the site, tipsyelves.com. Enter code COX at checkout for 20% off. Use that code. Everyone is going to be like, oh my God, that's the funniest sweater. Where'd you get that? And then you can just say, COX and Crendor told me where to go. Listen, Damn, and you can get your discount too. Tipsyhouse.com. Use the code COX. Use that code. Use that code. Use that code. All right, Crendor. Let's go to Chops Cover 7 the Scouts. Crendor, Crendor, how's that driving out there? Oh, oh. I'm up in the sky right now and I'm flying around and it is crazy out there. There's snow. There's rain. There's backed up traffic all the way across America, into the ocean, across the ocean, into Europe, across Europe, into Asia, across Russia, backed up into the other side of the world. It's just nonstop traffic out there for miles. I hope somebody's going to get the work on time because I don't think they are. Thank you. Thanks, Crendor. Now let's go over to Crendor at the weather desk. How's that weather? Weather. 
crap is looking, I don't know. Let's put in a thing and find out. <laughs> Weather is uh, <laughs> existing. <laughs> Three, four, nine, two, one. How about six? How about eight? How about eight, four? Port St. Lucie. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's in Florida. Yup. Um, Port St. Lucie, Florida. 75 degrees. Clear. Feels like 75 degrees. High. Blank. Low. 69 degrees. Uh, tonight. 69 degrees. A few passing clouds. Uh, winds. Light and variable. Uh, Monday. Hey, you got a high of 87 out there. Maybe, uh, good to... Oh, uh, wear the shorts, uh, wear a short sleeve shirt. Yeah, there probably going to be decent humidity up at 94%, so you got to make sure you take care of it. Yeah, it's going to wear you down, you know what I'm saying? Monday night, though, 69 degrees again. It's just a constant theme of 69 degrees at nighttime in Florida. You would think it's kind of suspicious, like the, uh, the government's controlling the weather. <laughs> they might be controlling it. <laughs> 79 degrees on Tuesday, mm-hmm. though. Thunderstorms. Chance Don't do that. Eight. Don't do that. <laughs> There's going to be one person that's like, he's right. <laughs> I know. I gotta, Don't do that. <laughs> write him a letter. Don't uh, do it. <laughs> uh, hey, thunderstorms. 79 degrees, 80 degrees. To pe- pe- day. Tuesday night, you got rain. It's Florida. It's just humid and hot pretty much all the time. That's Florida. That's the Port St. Lucie. Uh, back to you. All right, Crendor, what is going on in sports? Sports. Uh, big news in the sports front today. Uh, the Packers have fired Mike McCarthy, head coach of the last 13 years after an awful game I watched today. Uh, finally, he's gone. Probably should have been fired a year ago, but hey, better late than never. And uh, thank God we get to move on from him. Uh and right now, it looks like Pittsburgh's beating the Los Angeles Chargers, 13-7. We'll see if that Great. holds up. Thank God. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, Dallas beat New Orleans on Thursday. Baltimore beat Atlanta. Denver beat Cincinnati. The Rams beat Detroit. Uh, Miami beat Buffalo, which was actually kind of sad. I was watching that, and Buffalo had a chance to win the game or at least take the lead with like 30 seconds left, and the guy dropped a wide-open pass in the end zone for Buffalo. So that was kind of interesting to watch. Uh, Giants beat the Bears, even though the Bears didn't have their quarterback. Tampa Bay beat Carolina. Jacksonville shut out Indianapolis. Houston beat the Cleveland Browns. Tennessee beat the Jets. Kansas City beat Oakland. New England beat Minnesota. And Seattle beat San Francisco. Uh, and uh, there's big football news. NBA, there's basketball, hockey. There's hockey going on. Uh, baseball, people are signing people to contracts and stuff. Uh, that's mainly the sports. All right. What is our big news story of the day? All right. Big news story of the day. Uh, this is one that a lot of people sent to us. Uh, oh boy. Uh huh. Florida woman pulls knife on man who confronted her about farting. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, all right. I know where this is going. Okay. All right. Uh, waiting in line at a store can be unpleasant enough without the person in front of you passing gas. So when John Walker found himself in that situation Sunday at a Florida Dollar General, uh, he spoke up. Unfortunately, the loud farting was about to become the least of his worries. The Broward <laughs> County Sheriff's Office told the Miami Old Herald... Oh, Broward <laughs> County. Uh, yep, all right, yeah. That Walker got into an argument with 37-year-old Shanetta Yvette Wilson which led to her pulling out a knife and threatening to gut him. Deputies said Wilson cocked the blade back in her right hand as if she's about to strike Walker. Fortunately, the incident did not end in violence. Law enforcement was alerted and they found Wilson in the area. Walker identified her to investigators and she was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without intent to kill. So she had the knife on her? Yeah. Was that her? Has this happened to her before, you think? Where she was just like, stop giving me shit about my farts? It had to. I guarantee. I think so, too. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, authorities took her to the Paul Ryan detention facility in Pompano Beach, where her bail is set at $2,500. And that's all that's, the story. They don't have like any quotes yeah. for anybody? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the quotes? There's got to be some quotes, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm trying to look for them, and I got nothing. We have nothing on this. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, let's see. 
John Walker dispute in reference to the defendant farting loudly. No. Um, Wilson, no. Yeah, there's like no good quotes. You would think they'd like interview him and they'd be like, well, she just <laughs> wouldn't stop farting. I had to say something. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I mean, I don't know anything about this story, really. Yeah. Uh, like maybe it'll develop more as the, uh, the days and weeks go on. But as of right now, we we really don't know much, uh, aside from the fact that it happened at a Dollar General, so not the uh, not the best of places to go to, right? To confront somebody. Well, that is a a good story for Florida. All right. Buzzfeed has compiled the forty most insane, insane, in the thing. forty most insane things <laughs> that have happened in Florida in twenty eighteen. <laughs> The f- most of these we've covered. This is great. Oh. Number one, Florida men, one disguised as a bull, allegedly tried to burn down ex-boyfriend's home with spaghetti sauce. Yeah, I remember that. That's an yep. animated. Titusville grandmother pops out teeth to scare off nude man on back porch. <laughs> <laughs> we covered that one. I don't remember that one. I don't remember that. That sounds like a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. We need to remember that. <laughs> Miami man with no arms charged with stabbing Chicago tourists. We covered that one. Yeah, we got that one. A drunk Florida woman was asked to leave a red lobster, so she responded by allegedly grabbing a live lobster straight out of the tank and bolting. Oh, shit. We didn't get that one. Jason Vickery breaks into home, plays with toy helicopter, masturbates, cop says. (laughs) Florida man calling himself the beast gouges eyes of armed intruder. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) <laughs> Naked man chases two around Chick-fil-A parking lot Tells deputies, look at my penis, look at my ass Yep, there's a video <laughs> <laughs> A woman named Crystal Methvin, we covered that one Largo couple steals motorized shopping cart from Walmart Drives to bar, we covered that one We got like uh, like half these at least Yeah, man we're... Boy gets stuck in arcade claw machine I don't know that we did that, but we should have. Yeah, I don't think we did that one. Florida deputy hurls bush bean cans to subdue suspects. <laughs> nice. Bush, bush, baked beans. <laughs> baked beans. Yeah, these are just some don't microwave your pee. We did that one. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, we've really covered it. We've really covered Florida. Huh. That's, uh, I feel like we're probably one of the best Florida news coverages you could get. Uh, but we did miss this one. All right. Man rips urinal off pub's wall, then runs wet and naked into the woods to escape. <laughs> <laughs> we missed a good one. That's a how do we one. miss it? Yeah, how Maybe do we, we miss just, that one? We need to up our game a bit, but we're on the right path. Florida woman high on meth ran around naked in a park because she believed a giant spider was on her. <laughs> we're missing. All right, there's some we've missed. Yeah, clearly. there's some good ones in there. Okay. Thank you so much for listening or watching or however you're enjoying this fine, fine podcast. And we'll be back with some more soon. But first, Crendor, hit him with the socials. Socials. We got SoundCloud.com slash Cox and Crendor. We got YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor. That is for the animations. If you'd like to listen to the podcast on YouTube, we have YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor podcast. All one word. Also, you could watch our other things. There's YouTube.com slash Jesse Cox. He's almost to a million subs. Uh, there's YouTube.com slash WildCredendor. I make th- things there sometimes. I mainly stream on Twitch, <laughs> twitch.tv slash Crendor. There's j- twitch.tv slash Jesse Cox. There's Twitter.com slash Jesse Cox. Twitter.com slash Crendor. D- just uh, Google us and you'll probably find more stuff. A thumbs up, like, share, favorite, smash like button, uh, turn the bell on, ding, ding, ding. That's it. All right. Well, that's it for us. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, ding, ding, to be continued.